Hello, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to use the dot product or the scalar product to find the angle between two vectors. Now I'll link my whole playlist on further maths vectors in the video description uh, and I'll also timestamp the different parts of the video below so you can skip through to the different questions. If it is useful, please do like and subscribe. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at the formula that we're going to be using. Uh, and this is just the dot product where I've just rearranged it to make cosine theta the subject. So we have cos theta, okay, and theta is going to be the angle between our two vectors. So you can see on the right, I've drawn a diagram where we've got two vectors A and B, and they're both pointing away from the origin. The angle between them here is going to be our angle theta, and it's equal to A dot B divided by the magnitude of A multiplied by the magnitude of B, as you can see. Now a key thing to note is this angle okay, uh, is the one measured where we've got both the vectors pointing away from the same point. You can see they're both at the origin and you can see look, we're both pointing away from it. Because I could move vector B over here like this and there would be a new angle between them. It could be this angle here. Okay, We could call this angle alpha like this. Now they're not both pointing away from this same point. You can see B is pointing towards the origin and A is pointing away from it. So this wouldn't work. So the angle theta is the one measured when they're both pointing away from the same point. Hopefully that makes sense how that works. So let's take a look at some examples. So you can see here, uh, we have three different examples we're gonna look at. So uh, the first question says, calculate the uh, angle between the following pairs of vectors. And we've got a vector A and B, and these are both in two dimensions. So for the first one, I'm actually going to draw it on a, a, a diagram so we can see it a bit clearer. So we've got the vector A, which is 2, 3. So that's going to look something like this. Vector A and vector B, which is 4, negative 6. So that's going to be over here like this. This is my vector B. Now you can see they're both pointing away from the origin. So my angle theta is going to be this one here measured between the two. And so our formula says that cosine theta is going to be equal to a dot b so that's going to be 2 multiplied by 4 plus 3 multiplied by negative 6 and then we divide that by the magnitude of a which is the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared multiplied by the magnitude of b which is the square root of 4 squared uh, plus negative 6 squared like so now i'm just going to put all of this into my calculator so i've got 2 times 4 plus 3 multiplied by negative 6 divided by the square root of 4 plus 9, multiplied by the square root of 16 plus 32. Uh, and this is going to give me, I'll leave it as a fraction, negative 5 over 13 is equal to cosine theta. And I'm going to take the inverse cos of both sides and to the nearest decimal place, one decimal place, I get that the angle between them, theta, is 112.6 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, hopefully that makes sense how we've got that. Let's now look at this second one here where we're in three dimensions. So same thing again, except I'm not gonna bother drawing a uh, diagram of this this time. We have that the angle between these two vectors, A and B, is gonna be equal to A dot B, so that's six times negative two, plus three multiplied by negative one, plus one multiplied by three, all divided by the magnitude of A, which is the square root of six squared uh, plus 3 squared plus 1 squared multiplied by the magnitude of b which is the square root of negative 2 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 3 squared like so. Again I'm just going to put this all into my calculator to speed it up and this gives me uh, an answer of negative say let's do it to three decimal places 0 0.473 so I'm now going to take the inverse cosine or inverse cos of that on both sides and I get an angle between these two vectors of 118.2 degrees to one decimal place. Let's have a look at this third example here. Um, so we have our two vectors a and b and we're going to do the exact same thing again. So our cosine of theta is equal to a dot b so that's 2 multiplied by 4 plus 3 multiplied by negative 2 plus negative 1 multiplied by 2 and that's divided by the magnitude of vector a, which is the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared uh, plus negative 1 squared, multiplied by the magnitude of vector b, which is 4 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 2 squared, like so. And again, I'm going to put that in my calculator, and I actually get 0 okay, uh, out as my answer. So we're going to now take the inverse cosine of both sides, and we get that the angle theta is 90 degrees. So these two vectors are actually 
perpendicular to each other. And we're going to be talking about this uh, in the next video, okay? But you might be able to work out a reason, as, uh, a quicker way we could work out that these two were going to be perpendicular to each other. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, hopefully it was useful. If it was, please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.